what's up youtube i'm back i'm going to deliver another daily buzz for you guys um of course as always i'm undecided on the decks that i want to use so while i sort through that let me go ahead and give my introduction welcome to my new subscribers i appreciate the like share subscribes to my day ones i appreciate you guys who rock with me who share my content who interact also go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i do upload content to the channel you guys um tell a friend to tell a friend of course i think that's it let me go ahead and jump into some messages we're gonna start off with the kipper deck let's see Let me start off with this. Let me start off with the tarot instead. 111. Oh wow. So I feel like someone is holding on to you. It's here. Four of Pentacles is here. Nine of Swords and the Devil energy is here. Okay. So. This could be someone that's having financial troubles at this time. They're worried about their money situation. Um, but this person... Okay, it's like almost like this person is trying to manifest stability, right? But it's almost like they're pushing it away. You know, the more you become self-imposed with something, stuck on something, you restrict it, right? So it's like if you're trying to manifest something, you almost have to put it out into the universe and forget about it. And that's how it comes towards you. But if you, um, you're you constantly worrying about it, like when you're going to catch your next break or when is it come, going to come or, you know, you keep focusing on the losses that you're taking, you're actually causing delays. Someone is bothered by their financial stability right now. And it's really bad. Like this person is, is almost like making themselves sick with it. Like this person is money hungry. And this is the, the, the attachment that spirit is trying to break from this person. They're trying to sever their ties with... You know, we all need money, but the uh, obsession with money. This person has an unhealthy obsession with money. There is, is a, there's one thing to have a healthy connection with money, but this person obsesses overly. Yeah, look, nine of cups. This person is, is uh, in love with money. This person wants to live an abundant, happy, happy, comfortable, comfortable life. But they're right now they're they're not even close to that type of energy. This person could be stingy with their finances, is what I hear. Like this person is not, they don't like to give. Like they're a hoarder. This is almost like the type of person that they'll spend yours and keep their, theirs for themselves. They don't want to have to work for like this person just wants it to almost like they almost want it to just fall in their lap hmm. not a pinnacles energy this person was also slow with the offers this person is slow to offer anything but quick to take they keep saying slow to offer but quick to take this will be the type of person that'll hold back. They they won't want to do anything for you. Like, you know, they won't want to meet you halfway. Or, you know, like... Um... You know, just say for instance, like, you buy lunch today and then... You know, y'all said the next day for where it would where it will be their turn, and this person will answer the phone or answer the text messages, or it'll be like every time it's time it's it's the every time the favor is on them, they could never do it. This person is self-centered. I'm 
almost it, I hear energy like this person is dying inside. They're not sleeping at night. Like this person is taking a toll on this person. Greed is here. <laughs> Overindulgent. This person could be smug. They make poor lifestyle choices, materialistic. They're dis they're dissatisfied right now in their uh current life. They don't have they're not wishes are not being fulfilled. They're not satisfied. This person can't manifest nothing. Like they living in poverty, like whatever that means. Yeah, look, ten of wands is under the deck. Nine of swords with ten of wands. This person is in despair. This person is they're going through it. Like this person is carrying a lot on their shoulders. This person may need some move homes and they're wondering where they're going to go next. This could be someone that's living pillar to post at this time or sleeping on someone's couch. Almost like a fake it till you make it type energy. Yeah, look, pain, loss, grief is here. Regret, despair, emotional breakup, dissatisfied, disappointed, but something is retrievable. And it's something that's here was retrievable. Eight of Pentacles. This person may um, currently be looking for work. Or they could have, you know, they could have, I hear could have started a job because Page of Cups is here, which is uh, learning new skills, showing talent. So this person right now could be, they could be looking for work or having a hard time finding work. Seven Eleven, as I'm saying this, so Seven Eleven, which is like divine, divine guidance. Um, I feel like this was divinely guided to happen to this person this way. This was to break them from their um, their obsession, their money obsessions. This person is obsessed with being abundant, right? But I hear your abundance is being protected, like. Your, I hear your abundance is being protected. Like you're being kept away from this situation. Because it, it, it's been... I hear what I hear is it, it's beneath you, beneath you. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Yeah. And fate. This is destined. Like it was destined to happen this way. It was fated. This, was, this situation was supposed to play out this way. To break for this person. To break their obsession with money. This person has to be made vulnerable, right? Um, this The universe humbled this person. This person was tough with material possessions, with material things. Like, this, this is what made this person who they were. And now this person is vulnerable. They're broken with this vulnerabil vulnerability is here. Spirit has this person... Mm -hmm. I hear using other parts of themselves. So this person could have used the used the flashy things like it, as a smoke screen um, to avoid showing the world the real them. The pers this person hid behind material things. They had spirit had to break this person. It was fated for this person to break this person. I hear this person has to be broken. They're showing me like a glow stick. They're showing me a glow stick. This is someone that's superficial, you guys. Look, now this person is feeling foolish. <laughs> foolish is here. This person is feeling like a bozo. Because, you know, this person could have... Like, this person... If this is someone that you're involved with, like a lover, or this could be a friend or, you know, family member. Um, it says, foolish, I like the, ma the mature seats and handle person like you. Um, Y'all know what I say about this clown. This is my bozo card, 1010. But it was time, it was faded. This, 
spirit, the universe stripping this person of all their most prized possessions was fated to happen because this person acted like a plum fool with these things. Like, you know, like, you ever see those memes like on social media and the, the girls will post it and be like, you know, they'll be saying, God, if, I, if you act, if you give me this ass, I promise I'm going to act right. This person didn't act right with their shit. They treated people carelessly. They were mean. Like I said, they withheld. They were stingy. This person was given so much. Like, you know, there's a saying, like, to whom much is given, much is required. Like, this person could have had enough to go around and they, they would refuse it. They also felt like their material possessions, their money. Um, I hear cars. This could be someone who likes fast cars, bikes. They live life in a fast lane. But it also, this also made this person feel invincible. Like they could get away with just about anything. They could treat people any kind of way. Which is what they did to you. And you were their perfect match. Right? You were sent to call bringing healing to this person. We are a perfect match. Reason why our our fires burn so hot. This person is wanting reconciliation with you as well. Like I said, moving secretly is here. So this person may be looking for work. And it doesn't have to necessarily be moving secretly. They may be moving secretly, not, not letting anyone know what's going on with them. Or this moving secretly could also be um, this you just are distant from this person you haven't communicated with this person in a while like you know longing is here i'm longing for the other half i have lost yeah because they feel like now they feel like you are their perfect match that's why longing is here moving secretly it comes out again and moving secretly and what's right under that is an inner conflict i'm moving in silence things will change soon um this person i feel like is planning to come back towards you but also inner conflict my world is chaotic right now I can't seem to think straight this person um they're not letting people know what's going on with them they could be hermiting isolating from people four pinnacles holding themselves back trying to find balance look trying to balance it says finding balance between giving and receiving didn't i just say that this person had a lot and gave so little like this is someone that would keep theirs and use yours spend yours this is what spirit had the lesson that spirit had to teach this person they had to free this person free this person from the shackles of selfishness oh wow self indulgence bozoness clownery foolery time fool time foolery like that's just you know common sense y'all treat people how you want to be treated you know what i'm saying like if you know you're not a giving individual then don't take from people that's called using folks you can't go around using folks because you see, once you, when you use people, spirit will take yours. Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't give free, freely. You didn't give equally. It gets taken. That's what happens. This person is battling. They, they have an empty space. This person is, um, now they have a void to fill is what I hear. I hear get rich, get rich quick schemes. So this person may be, I heard scheming, scheming. They show me a ski mask, <laughs> scamming. This person better be careful that they don't end up mixing themselves with the wrong type of crowd. Cause scheme, I heard scheming and they show me ski mask, right? We know what that means. Robin Peter to pay Paul. So this person may owe. They may have debts that are among them. And you see before when this person had material possessions, they had things that had they had power, right? That gives you power. Now that this person has lost everything, they don't have that power. They don't have those luxuries anymore. Um transportation may be slow. I don't know why I heard that with the Knight of Pentacles. That's a slow moving energy. So this person may be having car trouble. Or car trouble could be significant car trouble car could be giving you trouble um you know gas prices are insane these days that's car trouble <laughs> car trouble could be no car or trying to get one right what 
what else now this person is longing i'm longing for the other half i lost and it falls right on top of perfect match we are a perfect match reason why our fate our fire burns so hot there's a lot of messages here there's a lot going on with this person they could be like um having fallouts with people fight it's fights fights is here they're falling out with people around them people that once held this person in high regard like they're they're coming off the pedestal thank you spirit the pedestal that this person was once on i heard self place pedestal the pedestal that this person put themselves on they're being knocked off of their pivot they're being knocked off their pedal pedestal I, I, I want to say a petal. What is a petal? Does it come off a flower? This person could also be, um, well, vulner vulnerability is here. Vulnerability here is here. Delicate. This person is fragile. Their ego is frail. Thank you, spirit. And this is the inner conflict. This is this person went through an ego deck. nothing solid i can't offer you anything solid right now please be patient so this person at this time they can't offer you anything solid because they're not on solid ground this person is still trying to ba find a balance between receiving and giving and nothing solid this person couldn't offer you anything solid in the past either especially if this person was so unwilling to compromise so unwilling to give like you can't have any kind of connection that way not business connections romantic like everything has to be equal give and take you can't expect to receive more than you're willing to give. This person never offered you anything solid. They didn't know. They couldn't because this person didn't know how to be balanced themselves. This person was not balanced. They didn't know what it was to give equally. This person is used to. Uh, I also hear like. They're used to either being taken care of. Hey pumpkin. I love you. I love you. Look at your eyes over there. Mama charged it. Thank you. You're welcome. And you have to call your sissy. You gotta get your hair done. Okay. 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 Um, this person is used to either taking care of those around them, being the boss, being in charge, are being taken care of this person never had a a good firm balance of giving and receiving this person um you may have took care of this person let's say took care of them but provided for them gave to this person and if this person was always in the energy of get of never receiving you can't come in giving someone something too much of something that they're not familiar with they won't know how to adjust to that so they will abuse it like you know this person could was someone that abused your generosity. Also, this is protected in vulnerability. I'm sorry. Protected in abundance is here. So, like now, this person, your abundance is being protected from this person. Like you have been called not to share with this person is what I hear. This person is not to be shared with. It's almost like uh, this person is being put in a corner. I, 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 I hear like you don't know how to act. It's almost like um, a parent or in this case the universe taking stripping this person of everything and saying like you know you don't know how to act you can get it back when you when you apologize or when you learn how to do right by people but until then you can't play with the rest of the group that's this yeah look chaser this person wanted you to chase them this person also feels foolish for making you chase them and not actually ch you them chasing you. And when I say ch them chase you, all I mean is this person regrets. They feel foolish like a clown for not putting in adequate effort. Not being balanced with the giving and receiving. This report, this, there's a lot about giving and receiving. This person regrets not giving to you.
let's see soul contract my soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill so for a lot of you this could be your twin flame higher level soulmate this was fate this is a destined partnership partnership you were meant to come to meet this person you two do have a soul contract together fate is here and soul contract is here but this person didn't do their part so because they didn't you guys and you your part was fulfilled your part of the contract was fulfilled um at this point the contract is null and void i almost heard annulled like you were supposed to be you were supposed to meet and marry this person huh but it's kind of like it like it's at this point it's annulled because this person they didn't fulfill their end of the contract their part of the contract was not fulfilled so now the contract is almost like they're showing me like poof like it did it disappeared into thin in into thin air it evaporated it exasper exas exasperated is that the word y'all know what i'm trying to say i hope y'all know i i i sure hope y'all understand what i'm saying when i be trying to explain this crap to y'all don't not crap like this person fed you a lot of crap when i be trying to explain this to y'all because i get a lot of messages that i know sometimes i be stumbling and tripping over my words y'all but it's because i'm channeling so much from this, these cards manifesting is here look manifesting i'm manifesting loving and meaningful relationships and this is what you're doing now but this is also what this person has to work on this person is when they say manifesting this person is manifesting you back this this person is manifesting retrieval of this soul contract i hear soul retrieval so if you're this person's soulmate your soul is their soul right your souls match this person is is soul retrieval they're trying to receive retrieve their soul also they're trying to figure out where they got lost along the way that causes them or caused them to treat people this way treat you this way and apology right this person is also manifesting an opportunity to bump into you a faded a meet up so that they can apologize to you I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? Like I said, soul retrieval. This person is trying to manifest soul retrieval. A way to get towards you so that they can apologize and manif possibly manifest you back. And I say possibly because at this point, like I said, the contract between you and this person is null and void. It's obsolete. It's annulled. This was supposed to be a spiritual union between you and this person. So now that this person didn't do the right thing, spirit, uh, they annulled it. They know the, the spiritual marriage that you two were supposed to have. The contract. Wow. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, you guys. I hope this reading helps you. Helped you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.